this requires that you make one decision above all else. I want to know thyself, or above all else I want to see. And that single desire is the resurrection of the Son of God. It's the resurrection of the mind that, that thought it was separate, and now just a little bit of interest in that idea, in that, in that wanting, in that desire, and then a, a decision. And this is where our one remaining freedom at, in this world as a separate mind or a mind that believes that it's separate, our one remaining freedom in this world is our freedom of choice, our freedom of decision. We can make a decision because we have dominion over all things, and that's where the, the Old Testament, it, you know, it got a lot of things right. It just got a handful of things wrong that sent us down a path of, of crazy land for Christianity. But it got a few things right, and one of the things it got right was that we are made in the image and the likeness of God because we are God just like the current in the ocean is made in the, as the image and the likeness of the ocean because it is the ocean. That's the same metaphor. And when it says that in, in Genesis, when it says that, uh, that we, are the, we are made in the image and the likeness of God, it's just transmitting to us that, that there's no place where God is and we're not and we are the same as what God is. And when we want to return to that above all else, when we want to return to that, to that knowing of our being, like, what am I here for? What am, what am I? What is this world all about? First, it takes desire that I want it more than anything. And Jesus gave it.